street was blocked. The water it banked was banked up. Yeah, it banked up and then came in and it filled up the whole room. OK, right. You carry on. We'll look at this other bedroom first. This feels like underground caving, only with less space. Have you been in this room recently? I haven't been there for a while, no. You haven't been in there for a while? No, not for about a couple of weeks. Right, so this is the other bedroom. Yeah, it was small, like our study. You've got a lot of clothes here, Roy. Oh, uh, there's not much. Right. But this is because there's no wardrobe there. Oh, OK. See, if, right. if, if you had a Yeah, if you had a built-in, yeah, you'd be able to clear all that corridor. That would be gone. Yeah. Yeah, so... I have to ask, what's it like living in here? Well, we're just trying to... constantly trying to sort out, you know, and stack the clothes up. So we've got the rack to put the clothes up because they were all in boxes before. Yeah. So that's one move. You're trying to get there, are you? Yeah. And the next obvious question... When you, when you had the house for sale, did anybody come and look? A couple of people had a look at it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they said it's pretty small. Well, it, it is pretty small because it's got a lot of stuff in it at the moment, hasn't it? Out back, the yard is full of, well, more stuff. Right, so this is the backyard. Yeah. Full of a few bits and pieces, I see. Yeah, I've got to sort those out. I've got to say, it's a nice little backyard for, for a Sammy. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very nice. Yeah. Put your shed there. Roy's clearly overwhelmed by his situation. Life has got on top of him. And when the chips are down, that can happen pretty easily to any one of us. What was the house like when you bought it? Well, it was empty. Just an empty. Was it in good condition? Yeah. The same. It hasn't deteriorated. In fact, the more I look around this house, the more I can see there's a nice little property buried under the mountains of stuff. This isn't a bad size two-bedroom semi. I mean, you've got a two bedrooms as a bathroom, you've got the living bit there, little eating kitchen. What's that supposed to be in there? The laundry. The laundry. Yeah, but it's got um, all the garden tools. Ah, right. Perhaps we'll go and have our chat outside. It's a nice sunny day. Yeah. Squeeze by. When we have our chat, I need to impress on Roy one of the biggest real estate no-nos there is. We all collect things. It's a fact of life. But this is an example of when it gets out of hand. An extreme example of how clutter matters when you're selling. The problem here is that any astute buyer that could see through all this mess will be so worried that if he bought this property, they could be just letting themselves into a legal nightmare. Will the owner actually sell it? Will the owner actually clear all this stuff out? Because if they don't, you've got a cheap property and a legal nightmare. 